Hey guys and dolls out there on YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball, Diamond. <sighs> and today is 585 of my ketogenic journey, going a course from BBW model to keto cutie, and still figuring it out along the way and as I go, and relearning lessons I already do. So for those of you who are new to me, I use keto to lose 100 pounds in a year. Well, over the last seven months, I've struggled to lose 20 pounds. I think I finally figured that out. I figured out what was slowing me down. Thank God, I think. Now I'm gonna tell you all about that in a minute, but first let me show you what I ate yesterday. Let me show you what my macros and calories were for yesterday, and I'll be right back. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to me. Ring that bell, because you're gonna want notifications. I'm crazy as hell, but I'm fun crazy sometimes. <laughs> Ring the bell, y'all, and thumbs up. Okay, you guys, so I am breaking a 18 and a half hour fast with another Baconator, no bun, plain with just uh, cheese and bacon and a pack of mayonnaise. And I'm also having these. These are the Quest um, Ranch Tortilla Style Chips, Tortilla Style Chips, um, Protein Chips. I had the um, nacho cheese ones yesterday. They did not kick me, so I'm very, very happy to be able to have these. I got these ones at Walmart. I was out just a minute ago. I'm going to show you all these because i would never seen them before. They taste kind of like um, sun chips that mated with uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. They're actually pretty, pretty good. I really like them. Um, you all hear that crunch? <laughs> and they have five carbs per bag. One of those is dietary fiber, which I don't deduct because I'm total carbs. But... That's still pretty good. They are high in protein, though. Whole list of crap in there, but they didn't kick me, so I'm trying them out a little bit. And I'm glad I have. So, so far, so good. Okay, guys, so I'm having my second and final meal today. I know you guys are probably a little sick of seeing this, but um, I'm eight and a half hours fasted. I'm starving. I don't have time to get home right now. And it's late. I don't feel like cooking when I do get home. So I'm having another uh, Baconator with no bun. Plain. I'm going to add a little bit of mayonnaise. And that's it. So the calories for that were 1,690 calories. 9 grams of carbohydrates. A blurry screen. 129 grams of fat. And 125 grams of protein. So way more protein than I mean to have with that. And protein chips are pretty packed. Um, the Baconators are pretty packed, although I really don't think they've got that much protein in them, but that's what's listed, so. Hey, you guys, so I found the most awesome thing. I hope you think it's awesome anyway. I sure do. Normally when I buy clothes, I don't really like them that good, but I bought this dress yesterday for $4.99 from a place called The Family Store in Salisbury, North Carolina. It wasn't even on sale, <laughs> and I absolutely absolutely adore it. I'm tripping on my own tongue. It doesn't hurt that I like my body better now, but let me show it to you. It is a full wrap dress, uh, a real one, with a tank top dress underneath it that comes completely apart, uh, away from it. The wrap's kind of like this thin, sheer, beautiful, beautiful stuff. If my daughter ever gets married, I'm wearing this. If my husband ever takes me on a date night, I'm wearing this. Hell, I might just wear this for the hell of it. <laughs> my gosh. Is it not gorgeous? What do y'all think? <laughs> all right. So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and get into the weigh-in because it's good. It's it's great. I'm thrilled with it. I forgot what it was. Oh, no, I, I remember. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday I weighed in at 193.2. That was 0 0.2 from my lowest. So my lowest has been 193 so far. This morning, I got on the scale and weighed in at 191.6. That is 1.4 pounds down from my lowest, 1.6 pounds down overnight. And I'm at a new low, 191 pounds, 0 0.6. I'm thrilled. I've thrown out several theories as to what I thought was slowing me down, um, including almost every single thing I eat. Um, <laughs> the ranch, the hot sauce, and these things may well be affecting me. I don't know. I haven't had them in a couple of days, so that could help. However, I think I figured it out. 
See, keto works great and you'll lose slow and steady. Intermittent fasting works great. You'll lose slow and steady. But together, the two are an absolute powerhouse. Now, the way it works is intermittent fasting. For those of you who aren't familiar with that, it's eating no more than three meals a day. You want to eat three. If you want to eat three meals a day, that's fine. Uh, let's say 2 p.m., 6 p.m., 10 p.m. That, that, that was generally the way I'd eat. And I wouldn't eat again until the next day at 2 p.m. The thing is, every single time you eat, you spike your insulin. You can't burn fat while your insulin is spiked like that. Not well, not without working out like crazy. So you don't want to spike your insulin levels very much. That's where the three meals a day or less comes into play. Some people only eat one large meal a day. Some people eat two, which is what I've taken to doing over the last several days. And some people eat three like I have been doing for the past 18 months. Well, <laughs> that keeps your insulin levels from spiking. And you don't want to snack in between meals. You don't want to eat anything after that, that 10 p.m. mark for me, all the way to the 2 p.m. mark for me. Your eating window will be your eating window. I can't say when you'll get hungry or what time you choose to eat. But you're not supposed to eat constantly during that eating window because that will spike your blood sugar and your blood sugar will stay high or your insulin levels will stay high for that entire eight hour period. It will not go down for several hours after you have finished eating for the day. Well, that's where keto comes into play. See, ketogenic foods don't spike your insulin level as high. A cheeseburger will spike them through the roof because you're including carbohydrates and protein and those two things together will just shoot your insulin levels straight up. So, so will a donut, of course, but let's say you just eat the meat from that burger, the cheese, eggs, green leafy vegetables. These things keep your insulin levels low. So when you do eat, your insulin levels will spike a little bit, but they'll come back down relatively quickly and then you'll be into your next fast. So these two things work like a powerhouse together. I think I said that a while ago. They are a fat burning, holy crap, here we come, yeehaw, bomb, okay? They are amazing <laughs> together. And alone they're okay, but alone was 20 pounds in eight months, seven months, sorry. But together they were 100 pounds in a year. Now, as I get lower, my weight loss will slow down. It's supposed to. I'm not supposed to just drop, 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 drop. But um, it should have been more in the eight-month period, at least as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and everybody's body's different. You're not going to lose at the same rate I will. Where I have been messing up is um, I would wait till 2 p.m. to eat, but then it would be kind of game on until I went to bed. Sometimes I would stop around 2 a.m. and then not eat, eat again until 2 p.m. But most of the time it was a 16, 18 hour fast. But sometimes it would be a 12. Sometimes a little less. It just depends when I got hungry. So <laughs> after that 2 p.m. meal or whatever time I did eat, once in a while I'd get a handful of pork rinds, a handful of cheese crisps, a handful of, or I'd make a ham and cheese roll up, a little something here and there all day long. Not because I was hungry but because it's fat girl behavior and that's what I was for years and still pretty much am. Um, it, it, I was not restraining myself properly. I was trying to stay keto and still having cheats on the here and there. And they would of course throw me off for days to weeks, but the fasting is a big thing for me. I was not doing it properly now over the last several days. I think today is the third or fourth day that I've been paying close attention. And I'll tell you when I do my videos, this is what time it is. This is how long I've been fasted. And I try not to touch a single solitary thing until my next meal, which I have been stretching out to six, seven, and eight hours later. Um, and if you want to, you can eat, like I said, one meal a day and make it a big meal. Fill yourself up with all the calories you can eat in the day. And then not eat again for 24 hours or have two meals a day and stretch them out a four hour period or an eight hour period or somewhere in between. But don't eat in between. Don't snack. That's where I was messing up, guys. So <laughs> I've been holding myself back and I knew I was doing it. I just didn't know what it was that I was doing. And I don't know how I didn't realize that. I don't. I guess snacking is is so part of our so much part of our culture and our daily lives that we don't really pay attention to it. 
we'll go to the refrigerator. Okay, well, I'm making my grandson something. I'll have a ham and cheese roll up. Um, we're watching a movie. I'll grab this bag of pork rinds. So, you know, it's, it's just something you do mindlessly in a way. And I didn't mean to do it. And I wasn't paying attention to the fact that I was doing it. And, you know, I don't even know what made me think about it the other day. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm probably snacking way too much. And thinking back on it, I have continuously been snacking way too much. And the animals started going crazy outside. Um, probably when the kids coming home. Both the kids have newer cars. My son and my son-in-law have a, a different car now. Um, which they still have their old vehicles, but their old vehicles are messed up for the time being. They're getting them fixed. So my son-in-law has a new Malibu, or newer, new to him Malibu. My, uh, my son has a new to him Ford Fusion. <sighs> so now every time they pull in the driveway, the dogs raise hell because they don't know that car. Um, <laughs> they'll get used to it eventually and stop, but it's still too new to them. And they're really going to raise hell because I'm about to pull my black blazer out of the daggone mud for the first time in a year. I got a 10 day tag to put on it. My dad got the battery in it and got the brake caliber on it for me. I got to go check all the fluids and then we're going to drive it out of here. We might even just go by the mechanic, see if he can see what's wrong with it, see what it'll take to get me on the road. I can't get it inspected, check, check engine lights on. I'm telling y'all everything in the world. <laughs> so, oh my God, did y'all see that orange dress? Y'all gotta tell me, I guess it's coral. It's like a bright pink orange. I don't really know. I think it's coral. Um, beautiful dress. Now my daughter-in-law said that, well, Destiny said that she didn't like it. Um, it's, it's too old school for her, but I'm old. I mean, I'm 40, <laughs> come on. Um, but I loved it. So you guys tell me what you think about it. How are you doing in the 10% the of your body weight challenge? I think I'm doing good. Now, um, again, some of it was water weight, but where I weighed in at, I think was 199.6, and I'm down to 191.6. So that is a, it's an eight pound loss, right? Eight pound loss, and I had to lose about 19. Now again, some of it was water weight, but this is more just for fun anyway, because it's really hard to lose 10% of your body weight in a month. I think it's ridiculous, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't give it all all our we should try hard damn it <laughs> Aaron's home see told you so I heard him talking um so how are you doing on the 10% body weight challenge or whatever you chose to do how are you doing on your workout did I tell you what I did yesterday what did I do yes I walked all over hell and half of Georgia that's what I did yesterday I have not worked out yet today I'm debating on it because guys I forgot to tell you guys this I've only had five and a half hours of sleep again so this is the third night of five and a half hours. One the night the first the night before that was a six and a half, and the night before that was seven and a half, and then five and a half. Huh. I can't figure out how to stay in bed. I think maybe I just need to go to bed earlier because my body wants to wake up naturally at 9 30 in the morning or 9 o'clock in the morning, or this morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. It wants to get up when the sun comes out. So I need to start going my ass to bed early. It's difficult though because I got a five-year-old grandson that does not believe in sleep. <laughs> Grandma does. He don't. And once I wake up, my brain start going, starts going, well, we got to do this. We got to do this. We got to do this. We got time for that. Got to get out of bed. Got to get moving. And I do have things to do, but I need to go to bed earlier. Mm -hmm. Or find something that helps me get my ass back to sleep that don't keep me asleep for the next six weeks. Because, you know, if you take, uh, let's say you wake up and you got five hours of sleep, you can't sleep all day. If you take a Benadryl, you might damn sleep all day. Or have to get up and be droggy. So, I don't know about it. But, you can probably tell it. And, for me, when I've had a lack of sleep, I look old. I, and, I think it's it's like, the, you know, the wrinkles look deeper. The the, the puffiness is, is heavier. Um, so, I look old. And, when I'm in a weight loss gush, too, I look older to me. But, the skin tightens up over time a little bit. I can't wait for it to all tighten up, though as much as it can. I know that some of this will be permanent, but I can't wait to see what will tighten up. Y'all, yeah, I, I can about slap myself upside my head with my fat, my arm fat. Just so swap. Don't wave too hard, y'all. You damn knock yourself out. <laughs> anyway, let me shut up. How are you doing with those challenges? What's going on in your life? What'd you think about the orange dress or coral? Much love to you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Ah. Uh.
that is a new low. That is a new low. Yay, 191.6. I'm very happy. <laughs>